in September of 2014, I developed congestive heart failure. I have a congenital heart disease, and I had four open heart surgeries when I was a child. And back in the 70s, they thought you were fixed. So I went about my life thinking that I was fixed and I'm fine, that living with heart palpitations and shortness of breath was just a way of life. I did 5Ks and mud runs and did the Avon 60-day mile walk, you know, 60 miles in three days, and just thinking that life was normal. So I was in Alaska when I developed congestive heart failure, and I stopped in Seattle to visit one of my best friends from high school, and she took me to the emergency room, and it turns out one of my doctors has said I wouldn't have made it home. So over the years, I've learned that miracles do happen, and to have faith and trust that there is a higher power at work here, and they're always in, you know, it's always for your best and highest good. So when I was in the hospital for a total of four weeks, you know, going through having a pacemaker and open heart surgery, I just had to have faith and just held on to that, that this is for my best and highest good and that I will come out of this because I am meant to live. <laughs>